Chapter 1.3, Multiplying and Dividing Integers. So our key concept, and this actually works for multiplication and division, uh, even though the key concept is only says it's for multiplication. So the product of two integers with the same sign is positive. The product of two integers with different signs is negative. So uh, you will notice that your book is starting to use parentheses to note multiplication. Negative 3 parentheses negative 2. These parentheses right next to um, a number means to multiply. So their book is actually going to get even further away from um, using the x to show multiplication. You know, you're used to seeing 3 times 2. And even the dot, 3 times 2. Those are both pretty much going to go away in favor of number parentheses 2. Notice only the second digit is in the parentheses, not typically the first. So, that being said, same signs. Negative times a negative <coughs> is a positive. Positive times a negative is a negative. Works with division. So, 6 divided by negative 2 equals negative 3. Or negative 6 divided by negative 2 equals positive 3. Whenever you have two negatives in a problem, your answer will be positive. So let's go ahead and find each product in example number one. So five times three, of course you would write the original problem. Five times three. If you choose on your work, if you still want to show it as five times three for right now, that's fine. If you want to use the parentheses, that's fine with me also. But remember your answer goes underneath. So 5 times 3 is 15. They're both positive, so of course your answer is positive. Now negative 5 times negative 3 is going to be negative 15. I'm sorry, it is not. Absolutely. 5 times 3 is still 15, but they're both negative, so therefore your answer is positive. But 5 times negative 3, one of them is positive. 5 times 3 is still 15, but now that one of them is negative, your answer will be negative. And as we'll see in example D, it doesn't matter which of your two factors is negative, as long as one of them is negative. For example, in this problem D, it's the 5 that's negative your entire product will still be negative. Okay? Signs alike, they're positive. Signs different, your answer is negative. So, example two. A rock climber is at an elevation of 10,100 feet. Five hours later, she's at 7,340 feet. Use the formula below to find the climber's vertical speed. So let's highlight some of these here so that we know what we have. So she's at 10,100 feet. That is your initial elevation. Five hours later, there's your time. It's how much time she was climbing. She's at 7,340 feet. That is her final elevation. So her speed then is going to be her final elevation, 7,340, minus her initial elevation, which was 10,100 feet. And that is all over. Five, her time, five hours. So we have to solve, step one, we have to solve the numerator first. I can't divide until I have a single number. So I'm going to change this to adding my opposite. So instead of subtraction, I'm going to add 
the opposite. And then using my scratch paper down here, I'm going to have 10,000 minus 7,340. Zero minus zero is zero. I can't do zero minus four, so I need to go start borrowing. Nine, nine. Ten minus four is six. Nine minus three is six. And nine minus seven is two. Now, which has the greater absolute value? The 10,100 feet has the greater absolute value, so this is going to remain negative. So, I'm going to put an equal sign down here. Equals negative 2,660 feet. Okay, that's her change in elevation. She was going down. She was starting at 10,000 and going down to 7,000. So it should be negative. It's a decrease in altitude in five hours. So 2,660 divided by five. 25163152 So I have a negative divided by a positive. Therefore I'm going to have a negative 530 if I could write 32 feet per hour. So every hour she was averaging negative 532 feet, meaning she was climbing down the mountain 532 feet an hour. Okay, so let's talk about absolute value here for just a minute. It's not technically an example, but I do want to just kind of bring it up for a minute. So remember that absolute value is distance from zero. So the absolute value of negative two, which is two, is the same as the absolute value of 2, which is also 2. It's your distance from 0. 2 this way, or 2 that way. So let's talk about what happens if I multiply the absolute value of two numbers, or multiply two numbers and then find the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 times the absolute value of 3, which is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. Well, negative 2 times 3, this is inside the absolute value symbol, so it's going to act, um, the absolute value symbol will kind of act like parentheses, so I'm going to do its inside first, which means all of this is the absolute value of negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is equal to 6. So, it doesn't really matter what you do first, whether you take the absolute value and then multiply, or multiply and then take the absolute value. They both come up with the same answer. Okay, that's it for 1.3. Go ahead and complete your QCs and CYUs, and I will see you later.